Ayo, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to a very special video, because today I am, I'm going to show you exactly what you get for um, £268.80 uh, for a night in central London. Um, and basically, I'm off up to London today, and it's all been a little bit last minute. And last night, uh, I was looking for a place to stay on a kind of popular booking website. Now, I always have a little look, because a while back, I made a video where I found a hotel room for seven quid. Um, and it really piqued my interest, and I went and stayed there. It was an interesting video. Um, I, I was looking for that kind of thing, but uh, this is basically the total opposite, because... I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. This place for £268.80. It's basically a bed seat from what I can see. Like, how are you charging the best part of 300 quid for that? Like, I know London is expensive. Everywhere I was looking at was well over 100 quid. But for this price, if you get like a luxury hotel, I had a look. Um, and, well, tempting as that was to go for the luxury hotel option, I've decided to do this uh, and make the video, do a thorough investigation. So, um, yeah, just waiting for my taxi now, uh, but I'm going to be off up London and I'm going to show you exactly what you get for this extortionate price. So I mean, maybe the pictures don't do it justice, you know, maybe it's, I mean, for that price, it's got to have some luxury touches, isn't it? You know, uh, like... I don't know, like luxury kind of spa and shower gels and stuff and like a little food hamper maybe at that price. I don't know. I'm very interested to find out. So, yeah, I'm off up to London um, and I'll show you the place once we get there. Right, I'm here and it's fair to say I'm not impressed. But fair disclosure, I'm also not in the best mood right now. Um, and Travelling here, public transport, I just basically lost my faith in humanity. Um, so I'm not going to judge too harshly yet, but it's, yeah, it's small and it has failed one of my biggest tests whenever I go to an Airbnb. Um, I took the time to pick up a pint of milk uh, before coming and checking in. Now, um, I do that so I can have a proper cup of tea when I get to a place. Some places uh, just leave you little UHT things, which for me, it's not proper tea then. Um, it's kind of, that is my litmus test, whether they provide you proper milk or uh, just a little UHT things. Anyway, I have got here with my milk just in case. There's no tea bags. This is unprecedented for £268. Uh, and 80 pence a night. Um, I, at the very least, expect a few tea bags. Probably one of those little plastic covered, like little old tea cookies or something. You know, I expect, I expect to be able to have a cup of tea. Maybe that's an unrealistic expectation, and I should carry emergency tea bags and a little kind of pouch of sugar uh, just in case for these situations. You know, maybe it's a failure a little bit on my part, but yeah, that does not bode well, and that does not put me in a good mood um yeah i yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna order a domino's because i'm not myself when i'm hungry i haven't been out to have a cup of tea um and i need to get some food inside me before i give you the grand tour which will not take long um yeah i'm ordering domino's i've looped it up i haven't had one for ages now i live on the isle of Wight. um you don't need to know the village, you know, most people do, apparently. Uh, I can't get a Domino's, um, so I'm going for that, plus I've priced out the order, and it comes to £23.98. I was a bit tempted to have an Indian a curry, um, but that was over £8 more expensive. I also can't get curry in my village, it's a nightmare. Um, anyway, yeah, I've ordered the Domino's, got them, picked up. I'll show you my order when it comes, I'll do a little unboxing. Um, yeah, and then we will do the tour of the place because, yeah, I've had the journey down. I actually had a kind of, I would say a rant, but it wasn't. It was a, a plea to humanity one-off video that I recorded uh, to try and get that off my chest. But the lack of tea, um, I think it wouldn't be fair to review the place until I've had something to eat and drink at least. But yeah, that is not a strong start. Finally, my Domino's has arrived. I'll show you. Just went for the medium, just went for the medium. I'm trying to be less of a fat bugger. Um, although I don't rule out the possibility of eating um, a little bit later again. Uh, also got some wings, spicy ones, of course, um, and extra, extra dips. I got this, which 
it does somewhat go against my principles because it's vegan. Um, but given that I'm going to be dipping in the vegan sauce, copious amounts of very fatty cheese, dairy products and um, pepperoni, I feel like it kind of offsets the effect of it. And I was quite interested to see what like the garlic and the herb dip is opposed to this garlic and herb dip. You know, just a bit of comparison. Um, anyway, I'm talking way too much. Little instruction about how to eat Domino's is it tastes best when it's hot, which is why I've already had a bite. Um, and you're best off eating as much as you can while it's like almost unbearably hot. So the rest of it will be more enjoyable. So I'm going to bugger off. I will let you know about the vegan dip. Um, but after I've eaten. Right, I just got a bit of a scare. So I came into the bathroom to grab some TP toilet paper to um, just to wipe my hands. Domino's is incredibly greasy and the wings and stuff. Anyway, came in and that is what I was greeted with. That much toilet paper. Initially, I was incredibly worried. You can probably see the reason I'm slightly reassured behind my head. Um, but I thought that of this loose, poor quality toilet paper, which really does just disappear when you unroll it a tiny bit. Um, I was worried that wiping my hands and tomorrow morning, uh, there might not be enough, you know. And given my recent problems with the old anus, I like to be quite relaxed and expansive with my pooping. I don't want to be restricted in toilet paper, that's for sure. But um, I'm really sure now I know those three there, you know, fair, fair dues, fair dinkum. You see it all, that is a plus point, that there's extra toilet rolls. I can now take this one in, have it with my dominoes with, without worries for tomorrow morning, which is a plus. First kind of plus, really, that we've had so far. Right, I've finished eating. At least one of my desires has been sated. So this is probably as good a time as any to do the actual tour of the place. Um, let me turn you around, camera-wise, so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. I will narrate the tour for you. Right, this is the front door. Um, decent enough lock, although security-wise, I do like an extra thing when I'm in London, but I'm not going to mark them down too heavily for that. Um, right, straight through the front door is, well, let me turn right round. There is the apartment. Um, but to here on my left is the bathroom. Now, um, I already kind of showed it to you briefly. In the toilet paper situation thing um but that that is it now let me i can i'm touching that you see me touching that i'll keep touching uh that's me touching the other one and i can um i can very obviously touch it width wise yeah it's a small space it's a small space um shower is broken like that so it won't stand up um, I don't know about power-wise. Uh, let's do a little test. I should be far. Yeah, I mean, that's decent-ish power, and it does feel warm, to give it its credit. Although it is going to be quite a grim affair tomorrow morning, isn't it? Holding the shower above my own head, washing with one hand. Anyway, to be fair again, there is an array of products left there. Um, Alberto Balm, Alberto Balm and Raydox, so... Should I wish to wash my scalp and body, uh, I will be able to. I mean, I've got my own toiletries, but there you go. Um, we'll be using my own as well. Right, so, out of the bathroom, just to show I'm not making it look smaller than it is, it's one, two, three strides to the bed. Um, to the left, we have a lovely little kitchenette, milk that I haven't used yet because there's no tea bags. Um, it's it's not the most well equipped kitchen. It does have a microwave, two forks, two knives, two spoons, two kind of cotty knives, um, two pans, frying and sauce variety, uh, and two bowls. There is another mug that I use for my Fanta. Probably shouldn't use that, but it's is that a latte glass? I always think of it as one, so I just use the mug because. Uh, I think it probably could fit more in there. Could have done with a normal glass, really. Two plates. Cleanliness. Mm. Uh, got a sink. And there's a fridge down there. An oven. Two little hot plates. Toaster. Kettle. I mean, I don't know why I'm narrating it quite that carefully. It's a fairly poorly equipped uh, kitchen. 
Uh, we've got a slightly wonky telly. Um, some shelves. Uh, excuse the dominoes. It does give it a kind of cracky shake look, doesn't it? Uh, and there is the bed. Uh, in fairness, I have sat there recording earlier, so the towel has been messed up. Um, so it might have looked slightly smarter before. Uh, kind of my anus was there. I don't know whether it's 268 quid smarter, but there's another story for you. Anyway, what, would, what was that, shall we say, from here? One, two strides, and we reach the garden, which actually, for central London, not bad. Nice courtyard garden, enjoying spending time out here. Um, this leads me on to my main criticism. That is my old phone, my second phone. I run a Vodafone SIM card out of it, um, and this is my main phone I'm recording on at the moment, which is on the 3 network. Now, that's important because I need to talk about the quality of the internet. It is beyond arse. It is ridiculous. On the Wi-Fi that it's advertised as having, I've got an upload download speed of 0.33. And an upload speed won't even register. It just keeps failing the bloody test. That's not Wi-Fi. It's impossible to even watch anything. Uh, on my 3 network, it's barely bloody better. I can just about watch something when I'm outside. Um, and my Vodafone, it, nothing at all. Nothing at all. I have that SIM card. I bring it with me just for these emergencies so I can set up like a hotspot. Um, yeah, I feel like it should be like advertised or specified that that is not really internet that's available here not on the wi-fi network and not on two major networks i mean like some kind of dead zone it's yeah it's awful i'm gonna be left a lot with my own thoughts tonight it's bleak bleak prospect yeah for 268 quid and 80 pence it's it's not an awful lot is it um mattress wise it's, yeah, it's kind of what you'd expect. It's not the greatest. It is not the greatest. Anyway, I feel like I'm being harsh and moaning quite a lot. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Obviously, I'll update you as the evening goes on. Um, how I sleep and stuff. Oh, um, let me just show you the security at the back here. Just that, well, the, not an issue, but... Because it's kind of a walled off garden. But again, when I'm in central London, I do enjoy more than just one of those. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, hopefully it won't be an issue and I won't get robbed. But if it does happen, that does happen, um, I'll let you know. Sleep with my phone under my pillow, maybe. Yeah, I'll update you as the night goes on and see how I sleep. But it's not great so far, is it? It's not great at all. Right, a couple of updates for you. Uh, number one, I have noticed it is, it's very quiet, actually, which is something in the flat's favour. It's nice to be able to, uh, to give it a plus point at least. You know, I don't want to come off as biased. I'm, there's not been a many kind of good points to it. But yeah, that is one. It's very quiet, considering I'm in central London. Um, and even from the neighbours, I'm not hearing like loud noises, music and uh, TV and stuff. Um, might be, because I haven't got anybody internet, to be fair. But, yeah, it is quite quiet. Um, update number two. I forgot to update you on the vegan domino sauce situation. It actually wasn't too bad. Um, I don't prefer it to the green one. Uh, it's slightly bland. It doesn't have quite the tang that the green one has. But it's an alternative for, like, every kind of third, fourth bite or something. It was it was a decent accompaniment. Um, but definitely no kind of endorsement of veganism. Um, yeah, that's just stupid. Don't deny yourself the goodness. Anyway, yeah, those are my updates for now, um, and I will keep you posted. Uh, I've realised that I haven't actually showed you um, the outside from the front of the flat. They're kind of journeying through the hallway and stuff. And if I'm going to be 100% thorough, I'd like to do that, just for full disclosure. So I'm going to turn the camera around again, and I'm, I'm going to take you out and show you what it's like to come in, just so you You've got all the information, you know, at your fingertips, so to speak. So, this is my front door. Um, you've seen the lock already. That's the carpet out. Another flat Airbnb there. Oh, I wonder whether that's the router. No, that's not the Wi-Fi I have access to. Another flat. 
possibly Airbnb. Um, and we've got out the front this door. Oh, oh it's one bike and a wheel uh, ski bag, and then there's the front door. Mm, you see that? That's very rickety. I'll take you up the steps. I'll take you up. There you go. Full disclosure. There we go. Right, okay, after having realised quite how rickety that other lock is, mm, that's, I am wishing that was a bit more secure, to be honest with you. Good morning to you. It is 10 to 8 in the morning, and I've not long woken up from a, a pretty turgid night's sleep. Um, the quietness, it didn't last as it got later. Uh, there were a lot of people coming and going from those flats in the front there. Um, and also out in a little courtyard garden. Um, I t it sounded like it was one garden over, but it must have been over on the road or something. But there was like a gang, it sounded like. Like about 20 lads, like they were talking, um, talking really passionately, like arguing with each other, a lot of calling each other brov and stuff like that. Uh, at one point, it did sound like they were kind of talking for their lives almost. Uh, it got so heated, and then there were loads of bottles being smashed and stuff. Um, luckily, that only lasted about half hour or so, but it was a little bit unsettling, although quite interesting to listen to. Um, I would have liked to have filmed a bit of it, but my stupid phone's going wrong at the moment. It wouldn't charge up last night. It keeps saying there's a moisture in the port. There's not. Um, it's luckily the little drip symbol's gone now so i'm able to charge again but yeah it is what it is um in terms of the bed yeah definitely not the most comfortable thing i don't know whether you can see but the headboard's slightly wonky as well i'll get a proper shot of that later to prove it to you but yeah not the most comfortable mattress not the most comfortable feeling um being next to a almost unlocked door there but I've made it through, and I'm well, not ready to check out yet, but um, I'm ready to order a McDonald's breakfast, at least. Sate my hunger. Right, that's what I'm going to do. Get myself a Macca's breakfast and get some sustenance in me, um, and then I guess I'll jump in the uh, handheld shower uh, and give you my final thoughts before I check out. But, yeah, in terms of actual sleeping, it's a 3 out of 10, maybe, which it's not the greatest, is it, when you consider it's £268. At 80 pence. Right, anyway, enough talking. I'm getting McDonald's. Right, McDonald's has been ordered, but that's not what I need to talk to you about. I have another issue that I need to, you know, full disclosure, talk about. So, I've just performed a bio-evacuation. And, um, yeah, slight issue. Uh, actually, pop the seat back down and sit on it just to display the issue. Uh, this is the issue for me. Uh, legs too big to fit in the doorway so I'm kind of having to keep the door open basically um, and stick them out which you know to achieve optimum that's not optimum comfort is it you want enough room in front of you without this bloody wall and me definitely I'd like that door shut you know it's only a couple of inches to a, the front door and basically made the paper so in terms of privacy comfort it's it was an entirely unsatisfying bio evacuation again four out of ten maybe not good not good at all all right good news bad news situation um good news my mcdonald's has arrived um bad news the driver didn't read my little delivery note and he hasn't included my requested condiment so there's no sugar for my coffee uh, and no sachet of salt because 
Um, I do like a little sprinkle of salt on my hash brown. So everything's going to be slightly blander and slightly less pleasurable than it could be in an ideal world, which is pretty much in keeping with my stay here, isn't it? Yeah, right, I'm going to get this down, mate, and then I think I'm going to get moving. Um, normally, I will be looking to extract maximum value from an Airbnb, especially when I've paid this much. Um, you know, 11 o'clock is normal. I haven't got 11 fingers. I don't know why I'm trying to hold them up. 11 o'clock, though, is normally checkout time. Um, and I'd normally look to extract full value. I wouldn't check out a minute before that. Um, but today, I don't really see the point of hanging around. I'm going to eat my Maccas and I'm going to get moving, I think. Right, I finished my McDonald's and I've just had a shower. Um, feeling slightly better because of it, but it was not the best experience. Uh, as expected, it was a real struggle. It's quite a small area. Well, it's a very small space, isn't it? Um, and also, the, as I say, the... Um, just get evidence of that. The, uh, the holder for the shower is broken, so it was very much um, just me holding it, spraying water at myself, um, and just using one hand to wash myself, which isn't ideal, is it? Um, now, I'm no pampered princess when it comes to bathrooms. I grew up, you know, as a kid in the 80s. We didn't even have a shower till I was like nine years old. Um, I really, I remember it clearly, you know, when we first got one installed, it was around Easter time, and one of my aunties gave me a a bottle of shower gel instead of an Easter egg that year. And you'd think, you'd think I'd be disappointed as a kid not to get more chocolate, but I remember being like over the moon with it. I was excited to use it because I'd be just been robbing bars of soap on myself at that age. So it's no like pampered upbringing that I've had. I'm from the school of hard knocks, you know, but I don't want to have to hold the shower, especially if I spent, you know, 268 pounds and ATP for one night here. That's the least I expect. Yeah, I'd give the um, the whole bath and showering experience, not even three actually, two out of ten. All right, I'm just noticing a few extra things as I'm getting ready to check out. Um, the painting is something that really um, jumps out at me. It's obviously had a, a quick fresh coat of um, Brilliant White Emotion, uh, which the walls look fairly fresh, um, but They've just emulsioned onto the door as well. There's a fly stuck to it as well. You can see the kind of mottled effect. I mean, I did a bit of work with a, a painter and decorator years ago, and he was one of the laziest blokes going. His nickname was, you know, that'll do. That's what we called him. But even he was just like, you know, one coat, that'll do. Then you do the, the glossing and stuff. You don't just slap a bit of emulsion on it. It's not great, is it? few more dead flies stock around. I mean, all of the walls are kind of like that, not kind of finished that nicely. I mean, it's not a massive deal, but I guess at the price I'm paying, I do expect the walls to be, you know, just finished, I guess would be a good way of describing it. Mm. Right, I am, I'm gonna check out now, I think, and it is over an hour before I need to, which is, it's kind of indicative, I think, of my overall time here. Um, to sum it up, deeply disappointing, given the money that I paid for it. Um, kind of quite a few big points that aren't good enough, I'd say, for 268 quid and 80 pence. Um, not a working shower, no working internet, um, insufficient locks on doors, security really not the one for central London. Um, I guess I'm more nitpicking here, but, um, Crappy mattress, um, unfinished walls, um, oh, lack of just basics, you know, tea bags, just chuck some tea bags in, um, and some proper glasses and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's finished in any way. It feels like it's kind of a token gesture, and for the price I paid, I kind of feel like I expect more than a token gesture. Um, yeah, disappointing. Right. I'm, I'm off. I'm going to check out. I'm going to meet some mates who I went to uni with up in London. Um, and then I'm going to head down to Bristol, where I'm going to be staying in a different kind of Airbnb. Uh, it's a lot more than £100 a night less than this place. Uh, and hopefully it's, it looks like it's going to be interesting. Um, could even do a review, actually. Let me know if you want it. Uh, pop it down in the comments and I will make it so. Massive thank you if you've made it this far. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please do leave a like. If you didn't like it, please do leave a dislike. I always, you know, encourage your honest opinions. 
Um, yeah, massive thank you, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.